The 2019 general election was a contest no one wanted between UK political leaders no one trusts. Most of us will be glad to see the back of it. But it will go down in history for one thing. In past elections it would have been unthinkable for a television station to replace the Prime Minister with a block of ice. Channel 4 confirmed that the age of deference is truly over by refusing to accept the Deputy Prime Minister, Michael Gove, as a stand-in for Boris Johnson in their climate change debate. To the Conservative Party's dismay, the TV regulator, Ofcom, sided with the block of ice. Elsewhere on the dial, the BBC has been the target of unprecedented criticism for alleged bias in favour of the Conservatives. Two editing errors, one of which removed laughter from a clip of Boris Johnson in an earlier debate, became the justification for a social media tirade against the corporation. The clips have been watched and shared many times more than any of the TV debates. The BBC's political editor, Laura Quainsberg, has been widely portrayed, unfairly, as a government spokeswoman. Contrarywise, Andrew Neil, who used to be attacked for having right-wing views, became an unlikely Twitter hero when his piece to camera condemning Boris Johnson's non-appearance on his show went viral. The block of ice, it seems, was otherwise engaged. Social media had been encroaching on the conventional press and media in the last two elections, this time it came close to eclipsing them altogether. Analysis by Research Reality suggests that people are increasingly consuming political news through fragmented and partisan clips on their mobile phones, rather than from watching TV debates or reading articles. Politics has merged with entertainment. Comedians are now as influential as journalists or even politicians in shaping attitudes. Young people derive their political information almost exclusively from the Internet, with its preoccupations about race and gender identity. Labour, with its media-savvy momentum shock troops, has dominated the new medium, churning out memes, jokes and provocative videos. If this were an election for the under-35s, Jeremy Corbyn would already be measuring the curtains in number 10. He's called the absolute boy. Boris Johnson is portrayed as a Bullingdon blowhard, a racist, misogynist and, above all, a liar. Each speech and interview is tracked by a flotilla of fact-check posts of varying quality demonstrating that his pants are on fire. These are amplified by comedians and commentators condemning the Tories for being in the pockets of billionaires, letting children starve and for harboring Jacob Rees-Mogg. The Eton-educated leader of the House has been kept well away from microphones since his suggestion that people consumed in the Grenfell Tower blaze lacked common sense. Labour has had its own image problems, for more on this story, visit the news article link.